so frustrating. There were so many of you and we were just getting into our flow and it just cuts out and there's nothing we can do. It just, it just does this. It just goes bam. It's so frustrating for you, for me, for everybody. So, So Unique is here. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Hi, Steph. Really sorry about that. And thank you for sticking with it. It's just, uh, you know what? I'm scared it's going to happen again now because there's no rhyme nor reason to it. It just suddenly does it. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back, welcome back. So, we were talking about the NTAs and we were saying how... Um, sorry, we'd started to live and then it got cut off. So, I'm just going... Whose birthday? Sienna's birthday. Sienna... Uh, so unique, and she's 11. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Sienna. Happy birthday to you. So, we were talking about the NTAs, and of course, there's loads of fabulous awards every night. If I'm really, really honest, hello, Gloria Chesham, wait with us because I will sing your welcome song in a, at the end of this live. Gloria. Ches Cheeseman or Chesham? Um, 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 yeah, the, the one I was so interested in and was just, my heart was like in my mouth when I looked at it this morning, it was so moving, wasn't it? It was Kate Garraway. I just, I, I don't know Kate Garraway well, Garraway well at all. Of, uh, no, we're not on the same show or anything, but obviously she's a colleague, my very good friend, Lisa, has known her for years and adores her. And um, I think the majority of us st know her story um, with what she's gone through and what her, poor, her whole family's gone through. And of course, her poor husband, Derek. And, uh, and she didn't, she looked beautiful. And she, um, I, I loved her documentary. I thought it was absolutely brilliant. I posted about it this morning saying, my God, it was the most heartbreaking of programmes, but also incredibly informative because I think so many of us didn't realise how many people were, were, you know, having to endure the effects of long COVID and, of course, the families and the ripple effects to ev for everybody. So I was so chuffed. I was so, so chuffed for her. And I know that... Um, you know, I, I hope, I hope that she that she can make another one, so we can see what what happens when somebody comes home. You know, um, because I mean, how much support are people getting when people go home? I don't know. I haven't got an idea. But with the with the with the NHS creaking at the sides in the way that it is, I'm sure it falls short. Like we always say, the people that work for the NHS, great. Like when I I'm I'm, I'm going a lot back and forth with my with my dad at the moment and every single person is so charming and so lovely with him but the system is totally fucked totally so i just wonder i would love to know what what what's happening for her not only for her but for all the other people that have been affected by long covid her speech was yeah didn't she break your heart when she got up and she was just said oh just somebody else speak because i've got to gather myself she just couldn't couldn't gather herself and, and and I noticed on her Instagram you know that she'd said oh I, should I be going and you know should I be going to a glitzy night and I think anyone but the hardest hearts would be going for God's sake yes like all carers I just think whatever situation and you're caring for somebody else unless you can also care for yourself and sometimes have some pinholes of light away from you know, the, the, the things that you're dealing with, then how, apart from anything else, how can you carry on functioning? And I think that must be such a hard thing if you're a carer and dealing, dealing with, with, with guilt. I remember a therapist saying to me years ago, she said, guilt, is, she thinks, is one of the most damaging and difficult things to live with. Like, even she would rate it above anxiety, that guilt is a very, very destructive um, emotion, very difficult to live with. So I just wanted to just like absolutely bow to Kate and Derek and to all the people that are dealing with long COVID, with all the people because, and with COVID and some people still in hospital, because it is easy for us. We, we do feel like we're getting on with our, um, on with our lives in a big way. And it's just, there's a lot of people left behind dealing with the, um, 
dealing with the, the after effects, not to mention the NHS as well. Um, right, Deb Buns, where were all the loose women at the awards? Right, so there were loose women at the awards, but it was all COVIDed. Right, so it was restricted on the amount of people that can go. I mean, obviously, you know, um, they've got their entire cast of all their programmes across the telly. So if, if COVID were to get rife with all the live programming and everything, it could be a real problem. So they were still being strict, like they are at ITV, they're so strict. I mean, we're still not allowed to pass anything on loose women if there's a loose woman crying, which I hate, because, you know, we would normally get up, hold their hand, give a cup. You can't touch anyone. They're really, really strict. Um, and apparently, you weren't allowed to have any alcohol at the NTAs. <laughs> and you had to stick very, sit very still for four hours. Because I'm going to be honest, as loose women, we are very very naughty when we go to the NTAs. And what we love about it, which wasn't allowed to happen this year was, yeah, me too. <laughs> what, what, you know, cause the best bit of the NTAs, it's like any other night out. How often do you get ready? You know, you have loads of like, you know, to in and fro and about what you're gonna wear and ringing your mates. And it's very, very like that. It's just obviously glitzier. But the but all the fun happens at 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 the at the um, at the uh, not at home at the studio. So we all get ready together. Usually, well, some don't, but most of us get ready together at the um, at make makeup, and then we all get dressed together, and then um, we go on the boat. So we all get in cars. Last year we got in a big, no, the year before, we got in a big coach and then we all drive to um, South Bank and then we all get on a boat together. All the ITV daytime programmes get on a boat together and then um, we all go over to the O2. Now, none of that could happen. None of that was allowed to happen. I've just got to go to the door. One sec. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Where was I? Yes, yeah, so we'd all get ready. We'd get on the boat and then we'd all go together over to the O2. And there'd be sausage rolls and loads of booze and we'd just have a great time. Because, as any of you will know that's ever been to the O2, my postman is nice, but we're really nice. When he's nice with us and we're nice with him. Um, but the... Um, but, um, of course, none of that could happen. And anyone that's been to the O2 knows that the traffic is horrendous. So this is what they said to us for this year's <laughs> Right, reduced cast going, no alcohol, and we all had to go in separate cars. So that would have meant three hours, and we had to get there at five o'clock. So ages ago, uh, some of us, it, Denise had set up this... Um, charity auction she'd auctioned us off basically for a lunch four of the loose women for um to raise money for the theaters through the p pandemic situation and um <laughs> and uh so we'd already had that lunch booked so they asked us to go to the ntas but it was like well we can't we're going for lunch we've been we've been raffled <laughs> with a raffle prize so we couldn't go. I'm just going to look for a... Come with me, because I've just got to get a charger from my phone. Um, yeah. But if I'm really, really honest, I don't say to anyone I said this, I don't like going to the NPS. <laughs> like I said, I like all the bit before... Oh, you've got to come upstairs with me now. I can't find my charger. I, li I like all the... I like all the getting ready. I hate 
the red carpet with such a passion I cannot even tell you because I'm not a flicker do you know I'm not a, I can't do the walk I can't do the stop I can't do it's really really embarrassing if they're like taking a photograph of you and then somebody really famous comes along and they just go can you get out of the way <laughs> so I'm just getting my charger um it, it's just the whole thing it's humiliating embarrassing you could, you're not allowed to miss the red carpet. You have to go up it. It's like we always go. A lot of us. And it goes on forever. Uh, yeah, did they? Did somebody run through? Who ran through, Ashley? Ashley's saying some people ran through. But you get told off if you do that. How's that? Am I back? Am I back? Trust. Trust in me. They're great, thanks, Katie Haig. I hope you're well too. Um, yeah, I'm back. So, yeah, I think my most hated thing in the whole world is a red carpet event. Oh God, why does it keep doing that? It's so annoying. Um, it's my most hated thing in the whole world is, 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 is any red carpet event because I'm just, I always feel like a trussed up turkey trying to be something I'm not. And actually, eventually, I thought, I'm not gonna do this. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna keep wearing dresses that that I I'm not gonna I was I stopped wearing spanks. That was my first thing, because the spanks made it just awful. Oh, do you remember when I fell over Janine Amory? Flat down on my knees. I always do something embarrassing on a red carpet, so I'm just like, oh, can I just not go? So I was very glad that I was at a charity lunch yesterday. I'm going to be honest. I, you know, I can't, I'm, I'm, I mean, I bet you I would get in trouble for saying this, but I just, I just, you know, it's the truth. And it's like everybody always thinks, I think that people look at us all and go, oh my God, what an amazing life. Oh my God, all that glamour. Glamour is exhausting. You're always hungry. You're always thirsty. You've always got wind from the Spanx. Or like stomachache from trying to hold your stuff. Yes, thank you, Alison Fisher. It was at the Rocket Man premiere where I fell over. <laughs> I'm so glad I wasn't pissed when because I could have easily been pissed. But I think I'd come straight from work or something, so I didn't have time to have a drink. When I fell over on the Rocket Man carpet, if I had had even one drink, I wouldn't have been able to get up. But you know what? That was a carpet on a wobbly lawn. And I'm no good in heels. You know me, I'm always in my flip-flops. Um yeah, so that's the truth. Never look at a red carpet event and go, oh my God, how amazing. I wish I was there. Do you know where the best place to be is? Is to actually just see people coming in in their lovely dresses. I think that's the best place to be. Because isn't that what we all love, seeing people? I mean, I do. I'm on the red carpet. I'm like, oh my God. I mean, did you see um, Frankie Bridge? Oh my God, her dress, she looked big. Do you know what I was really cross about? Because I thought we'd got past all this shit. I didn't, did you see the Mail Online doing worse dressed? It's like, yes, you can, Gina. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Gina. Happy birthday to you. Um, or you fell over before going into club, Ellery Jones. Oh, it's just the worst feeling, isn't it? Absolutely the worst feeling. Uh, yeah, I just love looking at all the gorgeous dresses and I, and I just think that whole tone that you get from the media sometimes, who's the worst dressed, who wore it best, it's bitchy, it's mean, it's judgy, it's unnecessary, it sets women against, or gives the impression that women want to be set against women and I hate it. And you know what? Don't ever click on those things. If you can bear not to click, that's how we stop that kind of reporting. If people don't click on it, because it's that need almost to see somebody in a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a bad position, isn't it? I mean, falling over the red carpet, keep clicking on that, because that is funny. I mean, it's part of the job, isn't it? Um, it's shameful, Sally, exactly. It's just disgusting. Why do we have, because you know what? Behind the scenes, I don't know whether these journalists know this or don't know this. If they know this, then they really are vile. But if they don't know this, maybe, you know, but you can imagine. It's a really big deal 
You spend hours getting ready. There's so much discussion, discussion about dresses, about makeup. You sit for hours in, a, in traffic jams, always to those red carpet. You arrive, you're a bit shaky, you're hungry, you're tired, you're worrying about your kids, you're texting to see that they've got the test. You know, you've got all that going on and you're trying to look nice. You're trying so hard to look nice because everybody looks so lovely. Just imagine what that's like to wake up the next morning and say, worst dress. Why would anyone want to say that about anyone? I just don't get it. And I hate it. So. Don't click, don't click on those stories and they'll stop posting them, I'm telling you. Uh, no, I wouldn't like, honestly, don't ever yearn for it, it's not nice. Um, so uh, let's go from that to nasty things to my friend, Katie Piper. I'm really loving getting to know Katie Piper. She's a new loose woman. And um, well, I think most of you know her um her story everybody knows her story everybody knows what 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 you know what a horrible thing that she went through but my god is there a person that has turned around something so awful that happened to them and helped so many others and i really love her for that and you know what she's great like in, i posted about this today on my instagram in 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 a, she, she's really fun and she's oh for god's sake one sec sorry My nephew, folks. Uh, pressure, pressure. It, it might be in that room in there. Thanks, darling. We're seeing you later, hopefully. Love ya. That's my fab fabulous nephew. You can. Uh, what's the name of your band again? Um, Public convenience. Public convenience. Follow him on Instagram. He's really talented and he's a thoroughly nice chap. I'm very proud. No. I'll be finished in about. I'll be finished in about 15 minutes if they don't need it now. Thanks, darling. So it is this one? No. Oh, it's not this one? No, that's a slow cooker. Oh. <laughs> that was Dina. Was that Dina calling me? Sorry about this, folks. It's my domestic life. You know what a pressure cooker is? The silver one. Yeah. You got it? I didn't have the lid. Okay, yeah, I got it. Right, right. Everyone's saying hi, Finley. Say hi. Hello. Public convenience. <laughs> Follow him on Instagram. He's yes. so cool. You'll have seen him in Maddie's clips playing the guitar. He's just, he, I just love Finley. Thank you. Love you. Love See you soon. <laughs> he lives next door. Um, <laughs> how I manage to keep a thread going in my brain. I literally don't know how I do it. Anyway, I was talking about Katie Piper and saying how much I love her and how much she helps others and and it, actually yeah in uh, she always like takes me by surprise on loose women when we're talking about something um in, in the meeting and she'll just come out why don't why does she take me by surprise i think because she's so much older than her years and she'll come out with amazing advice and she's put this book together um and uh, put put together uh, affirmations for every day, every day of every day of the year, with then her uh, with a piece of writing underneath. And as I said, I'm I'm on the back, and this isn't an ad. I'm not being paid. This is me just supporting a mate, by the way. Um, and yeah, so so you know, I, it's it's just a lovely thing to have. I know lots of you follow her on Instagram and you like um, the stuff that she posts. And as I was looking at it again this morning. Um, she reminded me of a quote, actually, that Carrie Fisher, you know, from Star Wars made. And she said, resentment is like taking poison and expecting the other person to die. Isn't that the most brilliant quote? Because it's true. And, 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 and Katie says in the book, is there anything that you could let go of today, any resentment? So I thought it'd be quite fun if we thought, like, think of the pettiest resentment that you've got that kind of, like, nags you quite a bit that you could get rid of, that you could say... And it's Carrie Fisher. That's what I love about that quote, Sarah. It's Carrie Fisher taking the poison and expecting the other person to die. Or was it Nelson Mandela? Who said it was Nelson Mandela? Was it Nelson Mandela? 
Was it Nelson Mandela that said it? Oh my God, don't say that. Was it Nelson Mandela? <laughs> Can someone please look it up for me? Was it Nelson Mandela or Carrie Fisher? Maybe Carrie Fisher was quoting Nelson Mandela. Please tell me. It was like the other day when I was on um, Loose Women and we were talking about um, Oliver and then I broke into, if I was a rich man, da 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 which of course is from Fiddler on the Roof. Please can somebody look it up? Because if I try and look it up, I'm going to cut everything off. It's my Dr. Zeus again, Michelle. It is, who many of you know well. My, 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 um, my mantra that I live by, you know, those that mind don't matter, those that matter don't mind, that for years I thought was Gandhi and told everyone it was Gandhi and it was Dr. Zeus. Please can somebody to Was it Nelson Mandela? Ellery Jones, was it? Oh, my God. Right. Ellen is going to let go of resentment for my sister-in-law for screaming at me about my chickens. Quite funny that she got so het up and you had resentment about it. Nice. Nice. Because I think, like, I've got some really big resentments for certain people and I'm not ready to let go of them. I can't. I can't let go of them because I think to let go of them will upset me because I think sometimes when we don't let go of resentments it's because we fear, we're fearful that we'll feel the sadness. Does anyone agree with that? And so I thought, having read that quote this morning, I thought what I'm going to do is start letting go of little resentments so that I can maybe get better at getting rid of some of the, the bigger ones. So anyone else got a small resentment? Yeah, it's very hard to find the, the original uh, person for a quote. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Oh, God, did he, Michelle? Nelson said it before Carrie. Oh, shit. <laughs> Resenting people for leaving me on read need to get rid of. Yeah. Leaving me on read. Oh, I see what you mean, and then not answering you. Now, what I would say about that, Lior, is often, like, yeah, whoever said it was very clever. <laughs> Whoever requoted it was incredibly clever. <laughs> um, I won't let go of mine either. My neighbours have caused so much trouble for me and my partner, so it's too big to let go of, and I'll be angrier if I did let it go. Isn't that interesting? But is it poisoning you? I mean, could you swap the resentment of your neighbours to something else? Oh, apparently Buddha said it before. And Dalai Lama, oh, well, we're all buggered then. We don't know who said it. I resent people who talk over me, says Creatorholic. Well, you would bloody resent me because I can't help it. It's my ADD. I'm going to try and plug this in again. But it keeps saying, don't trust, don't trust, don't trust. Do you trust? And it was quite annoying. Um, right, it keeps flashing up really quickly. Don't trust, trust, don't trust. But it flashes up so quickly, I can't say trust. <laughs> I'm having such a shit time with this eye. Oh, but the wonderful thing is you forgive me. Maybe it's this charger. Um, oh, that's a good point. Hannah, if you're not talking to that person anyway, what's the point of having the resentment? Well, that's a very, very good point. And the reason I... Th and, and because, because it's the emotions that are attached to the resentment, doesn't it? You don't even have to see somebody. I think it often comes from hurt. It often comes from a place of being misunderstood. Um, and so when we feel like we've been not been heard, I nearly tripped and broke my neck there. <laughs> I tried to style it out. My foot was fully hooked on the blanket. Um, yeah, we try to, you know, we, 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 we often when we're hurt, it's the very last thing we want anyone to see is that we're hurt. We can be angry, we can be rageful, we can be mean, we can be bitter, we can be vicious. I'll tell you what we mustn't be. We mustn't be hurt. Um, so, you know, your neighbours sound like they, they're driving you mad, but it's like you're almost driving yourself mad as well with the resentment of it. And I, I, I'm telling you now, I do not have the answers. Steph, it's not hilarious. I'm exhausted and I'm sweating. 
Steph just said this 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 uh, live is hilarious. <laughs> you don't even know the extra challenges I've had. Uh, my ex moved away and I can't let go resentful, but it's my daughter is so upset. Oh, Deb. Mm. What could be something, what could you change resentment to? I suppose, I suppose it's something that I learned when Mark was in rehab. Let go, let God. I drive Mark mad with it, but I do say it a lot. Forgiveness is actually rim. But if you're not at forgiveness, if it's still too hard... I think it's about going, I'm powerless, I let go of it because it's poisoning me, it's making me unwell. Now, when it comes to like somebody's hurting your child, oh my God, I get, I get so vicious inside myself, I get so nasty, I get so entrenched, I get so stubborn, I get vicious, I get everything, I'll, I'll feel vengeful. But who does that, does that help my daughter? Does that help me? Does that help the situation? No, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference is the most brilliant prayer. And sometimes, a lot of the time, I don't wanna say it, because the resentment kind of feels good and it feels like I'm taking action against this person that hurts me and I can't let go. There's, 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 there's a couple of people, there's probably about five people in my life that I have real genuine resentment to that does me no good and does them no good. And I think sometimes we can get confused, can't we, and say, well, if I don't resent this person, and if I don't, is, have I got to have full forgiveness? Have I got to have them back in my life? He's taking Kiki Margaret. And you don't. You can never see that person again, but you can let go of the poison that's poisoning you by resenting them and hating them. And we do feel justified, exactly. Gabri but, but that's the point, isn't it? Someone somewhere, it feels justified, that when it's hard to let go, yeah. But... If you think of that quote, it's like taking poison. Is it justifiable to take poison? If you really break down that quote and say, you're taking poison expecting to hurt somebody else, but you're actually poisoning yourself. If you really take that in and you really, that's why I just like, I had five minutes where I just sat and I thought about it. I thought, yeah. I sat, I thought about the people that I resent and the feelings that came up were uncomfortable and unpleasant and I tried to say to myself, let go, and then I felt the hurt and upset, and so I went back to the resentment. I didn't get anywhere. I didn't let go of any resentment. <laughs> I mean, for God's sake, I don't want any of you to think for a second I succeeded in this because I didn't. But, but, it, but it's, yeah, Reem, it's a narrative I want to keep continuing with myself. So I just thought I'd share that with you because maybe today as well, if somebody's got resentment that's making them feel unwell or poisoning them, taking poison, expecting someone else to die. Maybe we could just think more about that and think, why am I doing that? Sometimes some resentment that we have, maybe we just need to just have a good cry. And then let go and say, that person was a bad person in my life and it's good that they're not there. Oh, thank you, Sally O'Sullivan. Sally O'Sullivan is saying, hit the like button. Hit the like button if you're enjoying your time here with me. Oh, okay. Want to make sure that I do this because I've got to go soon. Did anyone see Loose Women yesterday when we were talking about contraception? Actually, as we've left it till a bit later, maybe we will do this with Mark because I think it will be good to have Mark here to talk about it too. Actually, I'm going to change my mind on that. But yeah, so for tomorrow's, for your homework tonight, have a look and have a real think about contraception. We did it yesterday on Loose Women. I was really passionate about doing it because Kiki Maddie has made me really rethink what we've learned to accept as women. Um, there's a really great Insta Instagram account called get underscore the lowdown and it's really, really interesting. And there's a 56 year old woman. And because I'm now thinking with my daughters I'm, and I'm realizing that I accepted a lot of stuff that I shouldn't have accepted and I want to change that for younger people. Do you feel very passionate about it too, Zoe? 
check out that Instagram account, get the load down, and we can have a really good chat tomorrow on the live because I'd love to hear what you think. I think it's about time that big farmer pulled their fingers out and sorted out a really good alternative for men to take some of the responsibility. At the moment, we've got condoms. We've got condoms or the snip. We need more. We need more. We need more than that. I mean, I said, so I said on Loose Women yesterday, there, was, um, there were trials for an injection that was highly effective for men. I said, oh, we could use that on all the men of Texas. Couldn't we? Just line up all the men of Texas and inject them with a conscious... And then we wouldn't have the problem, would we? We wouldn't have the problem. Um, everything falls down to us as women. And I know there's so many men that would want to take more uh, responsibility because there's so many more good men than bad men out there. Um, but anyway, they stopped this trial for the injection because, wait for it, the side effects, of which are the three. If you open, a bo if you open the leaflet of a pill, the contraceptive pill, but, and you see the list of symptoms, oh, my God the side effects. But one of the reasons they stopped it was men didn't like the pain in the injection site. That must have been so awful for the men. I feel really sorry for the men that they didn't like the pain in the injection site where the injection had to go in. I just felt really sad when I read that yesterday. I just thought, that's not fair there. A little bit where the injection went in. Try a smear. Try a coil shoved up your cervix with no anaesthetic. Try labour. Try period pains. <laughs> anyway, so should we talk about that tomorrow? Because we'll get Mark in on it. Thank you so much for spending time for me. S pricks, exactly. Um, I'm so sorry it was so shit. Because let's face it, it was. We had postmen, we had collapses, we had charges not working. We had the lot. We had the lot, but you stayed with me and I, and I thank you for that. And um, I'm doing a really quite naughty but fun Meals in Minutes that's going to go up later tonight. So hit the like button under me if you liked me. <laughs> Do you like me? Uh, and if you like spending time here, tell all your friends about our YouTube channel. Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. And now I am going to sing a welcome song to Gloria because Gloria has just joined the family members area. So everyone make Gloria um, very welcome. Uh, welcome, Gloria. Hoo, 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 hoo. Oh, Gloria, sorry, I didn't warn you, I can't sing. Welcome, Gloria. Hoo, 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 hoo. I think I might start again. <laughs> God, I feel really scared now. <laughs> it's really weird doing it without Mark. Hang on. Oh my God, I can't do it. <laughs> I, I can't do it. Gloria, can you come back tomorrow when Mark's here? <laughs> I, I literally, I can't do it. I lost my nerve. I can't start again because I don't think I'll be able to say Gloria. Gloria, listen, I'm going to welcome you hugely <laughs> to the family guest area. Um, and make sure you come to the live tonight. I'll sing it at the live tonight because we're doing a live in the members area tonight, folks. Don't miss it. We've got some nice, exciting news to tell you. Are we telling you today? Michelle, are we telling them today? can't remember anyway so there might be some exciting news tonight in the in the, in the members area and uh, i will sing to you gloria with the help of mark and hopefully a triangle a recorder or a tambourine because i feel like i felt a little alone and that's why i couldn't pull it off because the regulars here will tell you usually i'm a fantastic singer and people are welcoming me in gloria no we're not because mark is still confused michelle i don't think he's ever gonna not be confused Michelle gets to see the confuser. See, you guys all see the super, like, smart, on it, sorted mark, but Michelle sees when he doesn't understand, when he's, like, so man brain. Like, me and Michelle were explaining something to him for about half an hour the other day, and he couldn't understand it. So, I love you guys, and um, I'll see you tonight for the Members Live. Mark will post what time we're going to do it. Love ya.